God is saying to you today my beloved child vengeance belongs to me alone. Trust in my justice, for I will right every wrong and restore what has been lost. Let go of the desire for revenge, and embrace forgiveness and healing. 444 The angels are surrounding you with love and guidance. Your hard work and dedication will soon be rewarded with stability and security. Type, yes, to affirm your belief. God says, revenge may offer temporary satisfaction, but it ultimately leads to bitterness and resentment. Choose love over hate, for love has the power to heal and restore even the deepest wounds. 777 The universe is aligning in your favor, bringing forth divine blessings and spiritual enlightenment. Open your heart to receive the abundance of blessings coming your way. Type, yes, to embrace the divine guidance. God says your soul is precious to me, and I long to see it restored to wholeness. Release the burden of revenge and allow me to heal you from the inside out. My love is greater than any pain or injustice you may face. 999 The completion of a cycle is upon you, signaling the beginning of a new chapter filled with blessings and abundance. Embrace the endings as opportunities for new beginnings. Type, yes, to affirm your readiness for divine blessings. God says I love you unconditionally, regardless of the mistakes you've made or the pain you've endured. Let go of the desire for revenge and allow my love to wash over you, restoring you to wholeness and peace. 888 Abundance and prosperity are flowing towards you from every direction. Trust in the abundance of the universe and know that you are deserving of all the blessings coming your way. Type, yes, to receive the overflow of blessings. 666 The universe is urging you to release any fears or doubts that are blocking your blessings. Trust in the divine protection and guidance surrounding you, knowing that you are safe and supported. Type, yes, to affirm your trust in divine protection. God says revenge only perpetuates the cycle of hurt and harm. Break free from its grip by choosing forgiveness and compassion. In doing so, you align yourself with my will and experience the transformative power of my love. 111 The universe is sending you a powerful message of alignment and manifestation. Your thoughts and intentions are in harmony with the desires of your heart. Trust in the manifestation of your dreams and desires. Type, yes, to affirm your belief in manifestation. 333 The universe is supporting you in your journey towards spiritual growth and enlightenment. Trust in the guidance and wisdom of the universe as you embrace the blessings of spiritual abundance. Type, yes, to affirm your belief in divine support. God says I am the God of restoration and redemption. Trust in my ability to heal the wounds caused by betrayal and injustice. Seek my guidance in how to respond, and I will lead you on the path of forgiveness and reconciliation. 777 The angels are surrounding you with love and guidance, leading you towards a path of divine purpose and fulfillment. Trust in the signs and synchronicities that are guiding you towards your highest good. Type, yes, to affirm your trust in angelic guidance. God says the path of revenge leads to destruction, but the path of forgiveness leads to freedom. Let go of the desire for retaliation and embrace the freedom that comes from extending grace and mercy to others. 222 Trust in the Divine Timing of the Universe Your patience and perseverance will soon be rewarded with blessings beyond your wildest dreams. 
Type, yes, to affirm your trust in divine timing. God says the devil delights in division and strife. Do not play into his hands by seeking revenge. Instead, let my love shine through you, bringing light to the darkness and peace to the turmoil. 555 change is on the horizon, bringing new opportunities and growth into your life. Embrace the transformation and trust that it will lead you to greater abundance and fulfillment. Type, yes, to welcome the blessings of change. God says I see the pain in your heart, but vengeance is not the answer. Trust in me to bring about justice in my perfect timing. Release your burdens to me, and I will lift you up with my love and grace. Don't give up on him, the admonition goes, echoing the call to trust in God's faithfulness even when the road ahead seems long and uncertain. It is a reminder that God's timing is not our own, and his ways are higher than our ways. In our moments of doubt and impatience, we are urged to hold fast to our faith, knowing that he who promised is faithful. Those few days resulted in a miracle, the saying continues, highlighting the transformative power of God's timing. What may seem like a period of waiting and uncertainty is often the prelude to something miraculous. It is in the waiting that our faith is tested and refined, preparing us to receive the blessings that God has in store for us. Think of what God could do for you in that time then. The statement prompts us to consider the possibilities that await us when we trust in God's timing. Just as the disciples' faith was rewarded with the miracle of Jesus' resurrection, so too can our patience and perseverance lead to extraordinary outcomes in our own lives. In the waiting, we learn to surrender our desires and expectations to God trusting that his plan is far greater than anything we could imagine. We discover the beauty of his sovereignty and the depth of his love, knowing that he is always working behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail for our ultimate good. So, when the days seem long and the nights grow dark, let us remember to be patient, for God's timing is perfect. Let us hold fast to our faith, knowing that he who promised is faithful. And let us wait expectantly for the miracles that await us on the other side of our waiting. In conclusion, the call to patience is not merely a passive endurance of time but an active trust in God's perfect timing. It is a recognition that his ways are higher than our ways, and his timing is always right on schedule. As we wait for His promises to unfold, let us do so with hope and expectation, knowing that He is faithful to fulfill all that He has promised. God's call to step into the unknown is not arbitrary, it is purposeful and intentional. It is a call to leave behind the familiar and venture into new territories, both spiritually and practically. It requires a willingness to let go of our own understanding and trust in the wisdom and guidance of a higher power. The promise that accompanies this call is one of assurance and hope. It is a promise that God is with us every step of the way, guiding and directing our paths. It is a promise that, despite the uncertainties and challenges we may face, we are never alone. For He has promised to never leave us nor forsake us. Do not fear the overwhelmingly unknowns, God declares. It is a reminder that fear has no place in the heart of the believer. Fear paralyzes, but faith empowers. Fear focuses on the obstacles, but faith sees the opportunities. Fear whispers doubt, but faith declares victory. Simply trust and obey me as I direct you on your path, God continues. Trust is the cornerstone of faith.
It is the unwavering belief that God is faithful to His promises and steadfast in His love. It is the surrender of our will to His, knowing that His plans for us are good and perfect. When I challenge you to take a step of faith, to change the direction of your life, God assures, you can be sure that I'm guiding you to prosperous victory. Every step of faith is a declaration of trust in God's sovereignty and a willingness to follow His lead, no matter the cost. And though the road may be fraught with obstacles and uncertainties, God promises to lead us to a place of abundant blessings and victorious outcomes. So, what does it mean to step into the unknown in response to God's call? It means relinquishing control and embracing surrender. It means trading our fears for faith, our doubts for trust, and our plans for His purpose. It means walking by faith and not by sight, knowing that God's ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Stepping into the unknown requires courage and humility. It requires a willingness to let go of our own agendas and submit to God's will. It requires a readiness to embrace the journey, even when the path ahead is unclear. But it is in the unknown that we discover the depths of God's faithfulness and the richness of His provision. It is in the unknown that our faith is stretched and strengthened. It is in the unknown that we experience the miraculous and the extraordinary. So, do not be afraid of the unknowns that lie ahead. Instead, embrace them with faith and confidence, knowing that God is leading you every step of the way. Trust in His promises, obey His commands, and step boldly into the divine purpose He has ordained for your life. For in the unknown, you will find not only challenges and obstacles but also blessings and opportunities beyond your wildest imagination. And in the end, you will emerge victorious, having fulfilled the purpose for which you were created. In moments of trial and adversity, turn to prayer as your first response. By entrusting your challenges to God, you demonstrate your reverence for Him and acknowledge His sovereignty over all situations. Allowing God to take control in times of trouble shows humility and trust in His divine plan. It is a reflection of a heart that seeks His guidance above all else. When faced with difficulties, choose faith over negativity. Anger and despair only serve to distance us from God's presence. Instead, let His peace reign in your heart as you lean on Him for strength. Prayer is the key that unlocks God's intervention in our lives. By seeking His help and guidance, we acknowledge His power and authority, aligning our hearts with His will. Maintaining a heart that fears God means prioritizing His presence and guidance above our own desires and emotions. Let every challenge be an opportunity to deepen your trust in Him. Guiding my steps and filling my heart with hope, the petitioner continues, trusting in God's faithfulness to lead them forward. Hope is not wishful thinking but a confident expectation of God's promises. It is an anchor for the soul, keeping us steadfast amidst life's storms. I trust in your unfailing love, the prayer affirms, a declaration of unwavering faith in God's goodness and grace. His love is a constant source of comfort and assurance, a love that never wavers or fades. It is a love that reaches to the depths of our soul, embracing us in times of joy and sorrow. And believe that you are working all things together for my good, the petitioner concludes, echoing the words of Scripture. Even in the midst of hardship, God is at work, weaving together a tapestry of beauty and redemption. Nothing is wasted in His economy.
and even the darkest moments can be transformed into sources of blessing. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, the prayer concludes, a heartfelt expression of gratitude for God's enduring faithfulness. In times of trial, it is easy to focus on what we lack, but gratitude redirects our attention to the countless blessings that surround us. It is a reminder that God is always with us, even in the midst of the storm. And for the assurance that you will never leave nor forsake me, the petitioner adds, finding comfort in the promise of God's presence. In a world fraught with uncertainty, God's faithfulness remains constant. He is our ever-present help in times of trouble, a rock on which we can always rely. Amen, the prayer concludes, sealing the petition with a resounding affirmation of faith. It is a declaration of trust in God's sovereignty and a surrender to His will. Though the storm may rage on, the petitioner finds peace in knowing that they are held securely in the of God's hand. Trust in my plans for you, for they are plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future. Remember, even in the darkest times, I am with you. My light will guide your path and bring you through any storm. When you feel weak, remember that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Lean on me, and I will lift you up. You are precious in my sight, and I know every detail of your life. You are never alone, I am always by your side. Let go of worry and anxiety, and instead, place your trust in me. I am the source of peace that surpasses all understanding. In moments of uncertainty, the call to step into the unknown can be daunting, even overwhelming. Yet, it is in these very moments that faith is tested and strengthened. The journey of faith is often marked by twists and turns, unexpected detours, and challenges that push us beyond our comfort zones. It is a journey of surrendering our own plans and desires in order to embrace the divine purpose that God has ordained for each of us. In moments of turmoil and distress, turning to prayer can be a source of immense solace and strength. It is in these moments that we are reminded of our dependence on a higher power, our need for divine guidance, and our faith in the unseen. The prayer becomes a lifeline, connecting us to the source of all comfort and hope. Heavenly Father, the prayer begins, acknowledging God's sovereignty in divine presence. It is a recognition that even in the midst of the storm, God remains steadfast and unchanging. He is our refuge and strength, a constant source of support and protection. In the midst of this storm, I come before you, the petitioner continues, humbly laying their burdens at the feet of their Creator. It is an act of surrender, releasing control and trusting in God's providence. Despite the chaos swirling around them, they find peace in the knowledge that God is in control. As I face this crisis, the prayer acknowledges the gravity of the situation. It does not shy away from the harsh realities of life but confronts them head-on with faith and courage. It is a bold declaration of resilience, refusing to be overcome by fear or despair. I ask for your presence to surround me with peace and comfort, the petitioner implores, seeking solace in God's abiding presence. In the midst of uncertainty, they cling to the promise of God's peace, 
which surpasses all understanding. It is a peace that transcends circumstances, a peace that can only be found in Him. Grant me the strength to endure, the prayer continues, recognizing the challenges that lie ahead. It is a plea for divine empowerment, a request for the inner fortitude needed to persevere in the face of adversity. Strength is not found in our own abilities but in God's mighty power working within us. And the wisdom to navigate through this difficult time, the petitioner adds, acknowledging their need for divine guidance. In times of crisis, clarity can be elusive, and decisions can feel overwhelming. Yet, in God, there is wisdom beyond human comprehension, wisdom that illuminates the path forward. May your light shine brightly in the darkness, the prayer exclaims, a fervent plea for God's presence to dispel the shadows of fear and doubt. It is a cry for illumination, a desire to see God's hand at work even in the darkest of circumstances. For where there is light, darkness cannot prevail. Dear Lord, today, I come before you with a heart heavy with weariness and a mind weighed down by the burdens of life. Yet, even in the midst of my exhaustion, I cling to the flicker of hope that burns within me. I know that in these moments of weakness, your presence surrounds me like a warm embrace, offering comfort and strength beyond measure. As I navigate through the fog of uncertainty that shrouds my path, I am reminded that I am not alone. Your steadfast love and unwavering presence are my constant companions, guiding me through the darkest of nights and the stormiest of seas. Though the road ahead may be unclear, I trust in your divine wisdom to lead me safely to shore. Fill my heart with peace, Lord, as I surrender my fears and anxieties into your loving hands. Help me to release the grip of worry that threatens to consume me and instead, embrace the tranquility that can only be found in you. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind, anchoring me in the midst of life's storms. Grant me strength, Lord, to persevere in the face of adversity. When my legs grow weary and my spirit falters, be my rock and my fortress, a stronghold in times of trouble. Infuse my weary bones with the vitality of your spirit, renewing my strength like the eagles, that I may soar above the challenges that seek to weigh me down. Thank you, Lord, for the quiet promise of better days ahead. Though I may not see it now, I trust in your faithfulness to bring beauty from ashes and joy from sorrow. Help me to hold on to this promise, even when the storms rage and the skies darken. For I know that your plans for me are plans for good, to give me a future and a hope. Help me to trust in your plan, Lord, even when it seems incomprehensible to my finite mind. Teach me to surrender my will to yours, knowing that your ways are higher than my ways, and your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Give me the courage to keep moving forward, one step at a time, with a hopeful heart that rests securely in your unfailing love. Amen. The concept of destiny is a deeply ingrained belief across cultures and religions. It suggests that certain events and outcomes are preordained, 
guided by a higher power or cosmic force. In the realm of faith, this belief is often intertwined with the idea of divine providence, the notion that God has a plan for each individual, and that plan will inevitably unfold according to His will. If it is truly meant for you, it will happen, the saying goes, reflecting a belief in the inevitability of destiny. It implies that there are forces at work beyond our control, orchestrating events in such a way that what is meant to be will ultimately come to pass. This perspective offers solace and reassurance, especially in times of uncertainty and adversity. It suggests that even when things seem bleak or out of our grasp, there is a higher purpose at play, guiding us toward our destined path. Similarly, the idea that, if it is truly meant for you, it will return even if you've pushed it away, speaks to the resilience of destiny. It suggests that even when we veer off course or make mistakes, what is meant for us will find its way back into our lives. This notion of divine intervention underscores the belief that nothing happens by chance, every encounter, every setback, and every triumph is part of a larger tapestry woven by a divine hand. In the midst of our human striving and planning, it is humbling to remember that, we make plans, but God orders our steps. This acknowledgement reflects an understanding that our efforts are but a small piece of a much grander design. It reminds us that while we may chart our own course, ultimately, it is God who directs our paths. This recognition invites us to surrender our will to His, trusting in His wisdom and guidance to lead us where we need to go. He sees the end from the beginning, the saying continues, highlighting the omniscience of God. From His vantage point, beyond the constraints of time and space, He sees the entirety of our lives laid out before Him. Every twist and turn, every triumph and trial, is known to Him in advance. This awareness offers profound comfort, knowing that we are never alone in our journey, that God goes before us, paving the way and preparing the path ahead. If it is truly meant for you, the path you take to turn away from it will be the road that leads you to it, suggests a paradoxical truth about destiny. It implies that even our detours and deviations serve a purpose in the grand scheme of things. What may seem like a setback or a wrong turn could, in fact, be a necessary part of our journey toward our ultimate destination. This perspective invites us to embrace the unexpected twists and turns of life, trusting that God can use even our mistakes for His glory. If it is truly meant for you, it is already waiting for you to arrive, underscores the inevitability of destiny. It suggests that what is meant to be is not contingent on our efforts or timing but exists independently, patiently waiting for us to align with it. This notion of predestination can be both comforting and challenging, comforting in its assurance that God's plan cannot be thwarted, and challenging in its call to surrender our own desires and expectations. Ultimately, God is in control, serves as a foundational truth underlying all these beliefs about destiny in divine providence. It is a reminder that no matter how uncertain or chaotic life may seem, God reigns supreme. 
His sovereignty extends over all creation, from the smallest detail to the grandest design. This recognition invites us to trust in His plan, to surrender our fears and doubts, and to rest in the knowledge that He is working all things together for our good. In conclusion, the belief in destiny, guided by divine providence, offers a profound framework for understanding the mysteries of life. It invites us to relinquish our need for control and to trust in a higher power that sees the bigger picture. It assures us that even in the face of uncertainty, we are held securely in the palm of God's hand. And it reminds us that no matter where our journey may lead, God is always there, guiding us with wisdom and love. Trust in the divine plan, for God's blessings are always on their way. In due time, you will encounter someone who embodies all the qualities you've ever yearned for in others. Their presence will bring immense beauty and fulfillment into your life. Have faith that God hears your prayers and sees your tears. Know that He is preparing to send you a special person who will exceed your expectations and fulfill the deepest desires of your heart. Their arrival will be a testament to the beauty of divine timing. Believe in the power of God's love to manifest miracles in your life. The person He sends your way will be a reflection of His grace and compassion, offering you everything you've ever longed for in others. Embrace this blessing with gratitude and joy. Stay steadfast in your faith, for God is always working behind the scenes to answer your prayers. The individual he brings into your life will be a source of divine light and love, bringing you the fulfillment and happiness you've been seeking. Keep your heart open to the blessings that God has in store for you. The person he sends to you will be a gift beyond measure, embodying the qualities you've prayed for and bringing you a profound sense of joy and contentment. Perhaps by listening and obeying God's guidance more fully, we unlock greater opportunities to serve His purpose and make a meaningful impact in the world. Through our obedience, we align ourselves with His divine plan and become vessels for His work. As we deepen our ability to listen to God's voice and obey His commandments, we open ourselves to the abundance of blessings and opportunities He has in store for us. Our willingness to follow His guidance leads us closer to fulfilling our purpose and experiencing His grace. In the act of listening and obeying God's will, we demonstrate our faith and commitment to His divine plan. Through our obedience, we become instruments of His love and compassion, empowered to carry out His work and spread His light to others. By attentively listening to God's teachings and obediently following His path, we align ourselves with His divine wisdom and purpose. In doing so, we not only deepen our relationship with Him but also discover a greater sense of fulfillment and purpose in serving His will. As we strive to listen and obey God's commandments, we invite His presence and guidance into our lives. Through our obedience, we become active participants in His divine plan empowered to make a meaningful difference in the world and fulfill our highest potential. A testament to the strength of your faith and the power of His love. And if there's a delay in His response, it's an opportunity for you to cultivate patience and trust in His divine timing.
Each prayer we offer is met with God's loving response, whether it's an immediate answer, a delay, or what seems like no answer at all. In each instance, He is guiding us towards growth, strengthening our faith, patience, and preparing us for the blessings He has in store. God's responses to our prayers are always filled with purpose and wisdom. Whether He answers swiftly, with a delay, or in a way we didn't expect, He is working behind the scenes to bring about the best possible outcome for us. Through His responses to our prayers, God teaches us valuable lessons in faith, patience, and trust. Each moment of waiting or uncertainty is an opportunity for us to lean on Him more fully and surrender to His perfect plan for our lives. God's ways are beyond our understanding, but His responses to our prayers are always rooted in love and divine wisdom. Whether He answers with a, yes, not yet, or, I have something better in mind, he is guiding us towards growth, blessings, and alignment with His will. A godly marriage is not merely stumbled upon, it is intentionally crafted through a series of choices made by both partners. It begins with a fundamental decision to align with God's calling on one's life, particularly in the context of marriage. This involves a conscious commitment to saying, yes, to God's plan for union and companionship, even when the path ahead seems uncertain or challenging. The journey of a godly marriage is characterized by ongoing obedience to God's guidance and principles. It's about continually seeking His will and direction, both individually and as a couple, and making choices that honor His teachings. This means prioritizing virtues such as love, patience, kindness, and forgiveness in all aspects of the relationship. Serving one's spouse is at the heart of a godly marriage. It's about selflessly giving of oneself to meet the needs and desires of the other person, striving to create an environment of mutual support, respect, and encouragement. This service isn't limited to grand gestures but encompasses the everyday acts of kindness, thoughtfulness, and sacrifice that demonstrate love in action. Furthermore, a godly marriage is a dynamic journey of growth and transformation. It involves learning to love and appreciate one's spouse continually as they evolve and change over the years. This requires a willingness to adapt, communicate openly, and extend grace and understanding during times of transition and challenge. Crucially, a godly marriage is built upon the foundation of Christ's presence at the center of each partner's life. It's about individually cultivating a deep and personal relationship with God so that, when two individuals come together in marriage, He is already the focal point of their union. This shared faith provides a solid framework for navigating life's ups and downs, anchoring the relationship in the unchanging love and grace of God. A godly marriage is a sacred covenant between two individuals who are committed to walking together in faith, love, and obedience to God's will. It's a journey of mutual growth, service, and devotion, with Christ at the center, guiding and sustaining the relationship every step of the way. Through the highs and lows, joys and challenges, a godly marriage is a testament to the transformative power of God's love and grace in the lives of His children. 
in a deep, intimate connection, seeking to know God more fully and to live out His love and grace in every area of his life. He understands his purpose, knowing that he was created for a reason, with unique gifts and talents to share with the world. He's not content to simply exist, instead, he seeks to fulfill his calling, to make a difference in the lives of others, and to leave the world a little better than he found it. He knows his calling, listening closely to the still, small voice of God and following wherever it leads. He's not swayed by the opinions of others or distracted by worldly pursuits, instead, he remains steadfast in his commitment to serving God and fulfilling his purpose for his life. He's powerful, not in the sense of physical strength or dominance, but in the depth of his character and the impact of his actions. He wields his influence wisely, using it to uplift and empower others, to bring about positive change in the world. He's influential, not because of his status or wealth, but because of the sincerity of his heart and the integrity of his character. He leads by example, inspiring others to live with courage, compassion, and conviction. He's a leader and a lover, guiding and supporting those under his care with wisdom and grace. He leads not with force or coercion, but with humility and compassion, earning the respect and admiration of those around him. He's rare, a diamond in the rough, a gem hidden among the stones. He's not like everyone else, instead, he stands out from the crowd, shining brightly with the light of God's love and grace. He's a dying breed, a relic of a bygone era, when character and integrity were valued above all else. But he refuses to be extinguished, to fade away into obscurity. Instead, he stands firm, a beacon of hope and inspiration in a world that often seems dark and uncertain. He's just a good guy, not perfect or flawless, but genuine and true. He's the kind of person you can count on, the kind of person you want by your side in good times and bad. He's the kind of person you're grateful to have in your life, the kind of person who makes the world a better place, simply by being who he is. And yes, he does exist. He may not be easy to find, but if you're fortunate enough to encounter him, hold on tight, for he's a rare and precious gift, a reminder of the goodness and grace that still exist in the world. The analogy of being like little children to enter heaven is a profound teaching of Jesus that holds timeless wisdom. When we observe children, we see qualities that Jesus valued and encouraged in his followers, trust, humility, forgiveness, and reliance on God. Children are inherently trusting. They have a natural inclination to trust their parents and caregivers to provide for their needs and keep them safe. Similarly, Jesus calls us to trust in God with childlike faith, believing that He will always provide for us and protect us, even in the midst of life's uncertainties. Humility is another characteristic of children that Jesus highlights as essential for entering the kingdom of heaven. Children are not concerned with status or ego, they simply exist in the present moment, free from the pride and self-importance that can hinder our relationship with God. By cultivating humility and recognizing our dependence on God, 
we open ourselves to His grace and mercy. Forgiveness is a fundamental aspect of being childlike in our faith. Children are quick to forgive and move on from disagreements or conflicts with others. They don't hold grudges or harbor resentment. Instead, they extend grace and offer reconciliation freely. Jesus calls us to emulate this attitude of forgiveness, letting go of bitterness and choosing love and reconciliation instead. Additionally, children rely completely on their parents for guidance, protection, and provision. They trust that their parents will catch them when they're thrown in the air or keep them safe as they explore the world around them. In the same way, Jesus invites us to rely fully on God, trusting in His wisdom, strength, and love to guide us through life's ups and downs. Furthermore, children approach life with a sense of wonder, curiosity, and openness. They're not afraid to ask questions, explore new ideas, or express their emotions freely. Jesus encourages us to maintain this childlike curiosity and openness in our relationship with God, continually seeking to know Him more deeply and experience His presence in our lives. Ultimately, being childlike in our faith means surrendering our preconceptions, fears, and doubts to God and embracing His love, grace, and truth with open hearts and minds. It's about trusting Him completely, humbly seeking His guidance and forgiveness, and relying on His strength and provision in every aspect of our lives. The analogy of being like little children to enter heaven offers a profound insight into the qualities and attitudes that Jesus values in his followers. By embracing trust, humility, forgiveness, and reliance on God, we can experience the fullness of his kingdom here on earth and ultimately enter into eternal life with him in heaven. Please subscribe our channel.